Hello everyone, I'm Ligo. Today's topic is SF9 Tani and Google Dan Mina for Shun Harmony Analysis. I analyzed it at the request of an overseas YouTube subscriber. They were surprised because the photo structure was so similar. Is it a good combination because it's similar? Don't you think so? Let's analyze it together. Tan is a beautiful tree. Mina is a big rock. Big trees and big rocks collide when they meet. However, this conflict is used in many good ways. So it's a good meeting. And just below the letters they point to themselves is their perception of their spouse. They want to take the, take the initiative. There is one good thing about it and one bad thing about it. They have very similar fortune structures. They are rather weak in their energy. But the energy focusing energy they point to the outcome of the activity is very powerful. For men, it means wealth and women. It means wealth to a woman. In short, they are very greedy people. They have so many things they want to do and are very motivated. They have a good sense of reality. They are also very perceptive in space. So they use the space well when they dance. They have great value judgment so they can judge what is valuable for their development. They are also very intelligent in mathematics. So if they become a couple, they will be excellent in finance. And the world's art can be their efforts. But they also try hard to achieve the results of their activities. They are so similar that their weaknesses are similar. It's not good for couples to have the same weaknesses and it's good to supplement them. However, they have almost the same thinking system and will have a high understanding of each other. It is seen as a meeting that helps each other develop. I'll give them 85%. As much as they are greedy, I hope them develop their physical strength and endurance and do great activities for a long time. Thank you. Subscribe, thumbs up please. Thank you very much. Bye.